Yes, I do. I need to pretty quickly. Show us around. Timberland, we do North Bay, we do up further coming, not there. Okay. Some raw wool. Now, where does the raw wool come from? Montana, Utah, Wyoming, Australia, New Zealand. I'm trying to bring more than that. This, as you probably know, is nylon. It'll be used for coating. So you take wool and nylon, you blend nylon wooding, and the blending is done here. The blending is basically throwing the percentages in a blender. Here's a bit of history. This is kind of cool history. That was the original mill right there. The beauty about this is American mills before Civil War were granite. American mills after Civil War. And the beauty about it is you can actually see what the old mill was. Look at the granite, look at the granite. <laughs> so as the mills expanded, they built through. Finishing is very key. You gotta get that beautiful hand for the heavier fabric. But we're right. slightly less. Okay. Off to the weaving shed. Now, clearly, this is a bit more modern. <laughs> now you can put it in Ah, now you're back in the 21st century. This guy moves fast, man. So this is the yarn inventory. So this is the yarn warehouse. Effectively, this is the bank of our operation. Just like wow. a vault, this is the vault of our yarn. At the end of the day, the vault of the yarn is your operation. It's the heart of the operation. It's fully automated, this. Fully automated. Wow. You ever seen a bobbin this big? That's the biggest bobbin. I, you got the biggest bobbin I've ever seen, brother.
Metropolitan Art in New York. Wow. The Met acoustic. What do you got here? Wool denim. So this Wool is a denim. New prototype trying to profit from America's obsession with denim and trying to profit from. This is pure camel hair here. What's the weight on that one? Thirteen point five. Oh, I like that. Check this out. This is a perfect example of old and new. This is a drying machine from 1972, updated with digital technology in 2000 something. So you dye yarns on this side, and you dye full fabrics on this side. Whites on one side, colors on the other. The same yarn you showed us earlier, when we first started, Correct. that's finished. Correct. And that's for a Pico, you said 20 ounces? 21 ounces. 21 ounces. Wow. Mm. Uh, get your Pico to you. Huh? That's a Super 110 yeah. worsted. <laughs> your navy suiting. Wow, man, this is intense. Just like that, no box, no nothing. Okay. It's the final goods. This your uh, inspiration board here? I think I know. I think I know one of these guys. Is it you? Is it you? <laughs> I know a lot of these guys actually. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Some some of our That's photos right. up there too. Shout out Al. This is where the creative juices get flowing. Let's start designing some fabrics. What do you think? This is everything you're doing cut length right now. Yes, just starting the cut length pro program. Mostly suiting fabrics, some, nothing really exotic. The more the exotic stuff, so mm -hmm. some more flannels, so obviously the season maybe not right for that here. 